This is the third of a series of shows that my good friend Charlie Simpkins and I have done on fishing for suckers. The first part was the actual catching of the suckers. The second part, Charlie showed how he prepares these fish for getting them uh, ready for smoking. And this part is going to be about uh, the smoking process itself. Now, I don't know anything about smoking suckers, so I'm just going to sit back and drink some coffee and turn it over to Charlie Simpkins. Okay, we are uh, doing our prep for uh, getting ready to smoke our suckers. And uh, there are many types of smokers that people use. And the most important thing is to know your equipment and know your smoker and know how it works. Controlling heat, temperature, amount of smoke is hugely important. This is just a simple smoker, combination uh, smoker and uh, barbecue unit. And we are preparing our base of briquettes, which will be the source of our heat for our chips. And we're getting them nice and uh, burned down to gray so that we don't have any residual uh, taste in our fish. And we're getting very close. Uh, we're going to do the next process, which is going to be to get the fish on and get the wood chips in. We've had these soaking in water to, because we don't want them to flare up. We do not want any flame when we're smoking. We want strictly the smoke. This is kind of an art. It's a technique and an art, and, and it's the kind of thing that you have to work with and practice. We're going to uh, want to control our heat, and we're going to do that by the amount of oxygen we let into the chips. And so we're going to damper this down so we get that slow smoke. This entire process is probably going to take anywhere from five to six to eight hours. Uh, the slower the better. I like to keep my heat on this thermometer somewhere around 200, 225 degrees and eventually I'll need to add a few more briquettes to keep that heat up and it'll be a continual process of adding chips. I can tell by the amount of smoke coming off the smoker that uh, it is time to start adding a few more chips to keep that intensity of smoke up. We've been able to maintain our temp at about 200 to 225 degrees on the outside of our smoker. Uh, and things look good and it just feels right and that's kind of what you're going for here after you've done this a few times is you just kind of know where you're at and that's the artistic part of it okay that's it we're at the end of our smoking process here we started about 10 30 this morning it's about 3 30 right now so we're in that five hour period of time what we're looking for here when we check these is we're looking for that deep caramel brown color and real firmness in the thicker part of the fish and these are absolutely perfect and ready to come off our smoker. Let them cool down for a little bit and then we'll give them a try. This, this is what we've been waiting for, huh? Here's to you, my friend. Mm. What does that do for you? Mm. You taste that brown sugar in there? Just the right salt? Smoke sucker pretty nice deal, especially when Charlie did all the work. For Charlie Simpkins, I'm Jerry Carlson. This has been your Town Square Media Tip of the Week.